At a recent student assembly meeting, President Scorton pledged to search for funding of undocumented students at Cornell. About 15 to 30 undocumented students are currently enrolled at the university. The Daily Sun took to the art squad and asked Cornellians what they thought of Scorton's pledge and of the issues facing undocumented students. I think that people shouldn't be penalized for the decisions that weren't made by themselves. And I think that if you're smart enough and you have the potential to be here, you should have the opportunity to do what you can do with your own life and take the right path from then on. And most people come here for opportunities. So, you know, they're here, why take that away from them? Well, I think it's sort of an unfortunate case that they have to deal with. I mean, it's, it's hard for Scorton too, because if he only has so much money to give from, and like part of that's from federal grants that you can't use for undocumented students, he's sort of in a hard place because you do want to provide funding for those students, but you also have to like use the rules that you're given. So it's good that he wants to help them, but I feel like it's hard to also blame him if he's, it, it's, it's hard to say that he's neglecting them if he just doesn't have any money to use for that. And what I wonder too is like if there's any way that he can like can he help them get documented too like maybe that because that could be another path like okay well if you know the problem is that you don't have documentation well maybe we can address that rather than saying let's acknowledge that you're undocumented still use funds for that rather than saying okay well maybe we can help you get documented. So. Uh, I actually know some of the undocumented students at Cornell and I know that they've had to do a lot to get here and it's very very difficult. Um, I think I'm in complete support of trying to find funding for them to stay here, especially since they don't, you know, qualify for federal financial aid, etc. Um, I like that Scorton is verbally giving his support, um, but I think we can't put too much stake in what he says either way because he really doesn't have all the power on campus. Uh, it's great that he supports it and that's a good start, but we really need to get trustees and other people who have money and power on campus in, uh, invested in the issue. Uh, I feel like President Scorton just going on, I guess, any person, any study, so if someone's trying to learn and giving them the opportunity and the funding to do so, uh, in his opinion, I mean, his stance is appropriate, but at the same time, you know, it's an expensive institution and a lot of kids could use that money. I mean, I think everyone deserves an education and that, I mean, we have a great institution to give it and there's definitely funding for that. Um, and the fact that they're at Cornell, like, they're going to be very useful citizens of the United States. So. If we have people coming here illegally and then reaping the benefits that these other individuals could have gotten, I'm just not sure how I feel. At the same time, though, I feel for these students a lot. I mean, they obviously value their education. The fact that they're here and they made it here means that they put in the work and they have the ingenuity to make it. So I guess I'm just really torn on the issue because I want these people to be able to succeed, but I feel like there are also others who deserve the opportunity.